To see what is in front of one's nose is a constant struggle. That's a great quote from George Orwell. Asymptomatic SARS-CoV-2 infection has been right in front of us, but many people have been unable or unwilling to see it. From the beginning, there's been controversy. The first published report of an asymptomatic case appeared on January 24th, 2020. But for months, many people insisted that asymptomatic infection was rare. In June, when we published an early review on this topic in Annals of Internal Medicine, there were actually a few researchers who demanded that our paper be retracted. But we continued to follow the data. And what we've seen over the last six months confirms what we published in June, a sizable proportion of SARS-CoV-2 infections are completely asymptomatic. We just published a new systematic review in annals with 61 studies that include about 1.8 million people. Some of the most interesting data come from two nationwide sero surveys, one in England and the other in Spain. They include hundreds of thousands of people. The remarkable thing is that the proportion of asymptomatic infection in both countries was nearly identical, about one third. These sero surveys based on antibody testing are concordant with the evidence from PCR-based studies. So we conclude that in general, at least one out of three SARS-CoV-2 infections are asymptomatic. The biggest implication of this is that we need to change how we do testing. It's obvious now that it's not enough to test people who just present with symptoms. In fact, what we need is a different type of testing, home, inexpensive, rapid tests that can be done on a daily basis. Another implication of our review is that we need to figure out how effective vaccines are in preventing asymptomatic infection. The early data are encouraging, but we still have a lot more to learn. It is a reminder that we need to be humble and open-minded when something like SARS-CoV-2 comes along. A year ago, many leapt to a conclusion that asymptomatic infection was unlikely to be an issue. That turned out to be very far from the truth. Had we been receptive to the idea from the beginning, we would have been better to get our containment of the virus. And it still re represents a significant challenge today.